the ignore pointer widget. As you can see on the screen, I can click on the click me button, but as soon as I click on this button, I will block the click of the second one. And this is because we use the ignore pointer. To create something like this, we will start by using a Boolean ignore set to false. In the center of the app, we use a column widget and the children will be an elevated button. Inside we have the onPress function that will trigger the set state and change the value of the ignore boolean. If it's false, it will be true. If it's true, it will be false. Next, the child is a text widget. And if the value is true, then it will be blocked. Otherwise, it will be all good. The style of the elevated button will also change. We will use the elevated button that style from. The primary color will be, if it's true, then it will be red, otherwise green. And you can see that every time I press on this button, the color change. But now it's time to use the ignore pointer. The argument ignoring will be ignore, which is our Boolean we have created. The child will be an elevated button with the onPress function and the child text click me. If the value ignore is true, then the button will not be clickable. But if we change the value to false, then the button will be clickable. And this was how to use the ignore pointer with your Flutter app.